Hello again, Internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian shoves snacky foods into his fat head. Hello, I'm Insane Ian, and today we are trying four different Oreo cookie flavors. We have hot cocoa Oreos, which seems to have two different types of cream. Limited edition cookie butter. Oreos. <sighs> Peanut butter and jelly Oreos. And finally, mystery Oreos. What do they taste like? I've heard a couple people say different things. We all have opinions. You can enter to win a prize if you guess it correctly. Mm. I've had a couple of these for a little while. So I'm probably going to try those first, because they've been sitting in my room for weeks. They've been sealed this whole time, so I don't think they're going to go bad. But I also am not looking forward to it, so we're getting it out of the way first. Yay! That means peanut butter and jelly Oreos are first. PB&J flavor. Artificially cream flavored. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. PB&J flavor, artificially cream flavored. I mean, I guess the font size and type means PB&J flavor cream, artificially flavored. But, but that's, if you're reading right to left and... Ah! It's fine. Peanut butter flavored cream and jelly flavored cream equals PB&J cookie magic. As I've said on this show before, I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Ugh, never been a fan. I like peanut butter. I like jelly. Together, it's like crazy glue for the face. No. I don't think I'm going to have that problem with this, but uh, I don't know if the flavor is going to be good or anything. Let's find out. Wow. God, I opened that and it's like one exploded. Look at that. It's all over that. And I'm getting a very strong jelly flavor. Man, I hope that's not like from like the cream like almost melting or something. I had these in my car for a whole day because I found them and I'm like, I'll find them, I'll get home eventually and kept them in my car. And then got home and put them in my room and they've been sitting here and maybe the cream melted. Oh, that might in influence the flavor. Ah, this one's, they're messy like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Ah. Take the top off of this, you see the two different things. Try the jelly side first. Very artificially flavored. Whoa. Mm. Chemical jelly. Yep. Yeah, that's a very chemical jelly flavor. Flapping the cream at you. That could be taken out of context. And now we're going to try the peanut butter flavored side. All right. That's not bad. Now together. That's a weird mix. Nah. It's just messy. Just like messy like a real peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ah going in the whole face here. I'm gonna bite in the middle so I get the different flavors. It's right in the middle. Ah. It's not bad. It's reminiscent of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You're getting both the peanut butter and the jelly flavors in a cookie. So you're not getting the mouth glue that you usually would get with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you're kind of getting some actually kind of nice flavors. All right, that's actually not terrible certainly better than I was expecting it to be. I'm pleasantly surprised. Hmm. Now let's go with the limited edition cookie butter Oreos. I'd never heard of cookie butter until I moved to Chicago, and evidently it's a thing that's all over the place here. They sell co jars of cookie butter, which is basically just, it's cookies, ground up into a peanut butter-like thing. So it's, it's, you know how you grind up peanuts to make peanut butter, they grind up cookies to make cookie butter. And it's delicious. And now, it's friggin' everywhere. They have cookie butter shakes at Steak and Shake, and now they've got cookie butter Oreos. These are limited edition. You can only find them at Walmart, if you can find them at all. They're, they're probably gone. Graham flavored cookie with cookie butter flavored cream, artificially flavored. See that one, they wrote that one out like a regular sentence. Watch right to left there, guys. So it's gonna be a cookie flavored cookie inside of a cookie. Yo dog. I heard you like cookies, so I put cookie flavoring in your cookies. Let's just eat this. 
I'm getting more of the smell of the graham cracker cookie than I am the cookie butter. The graham cracker cookie, you'll remember from one of our other videos recently this season with the apple pie Oreos. Because clearly, I've got four different flavors. It's definitely weird Oreo flavor season. I don't know why I said that out of the side of my head. Graham cracker cookie, cookie butter. Just smells like cookie. Getting more of a scent from the graham cracker. I'm going to try the cream. Mmm, the texture is different. It's like they ground up cookies and made it the cream. The texture is a little grittier than Oreo cream usually is. Huh. And the graham cracker cookies with no cream now. Yep, that's what those are. Graham cracker cookies. Now, together. I'll try this. It's a little underwhelming. You'd think the cookie butter would be like the amazing one, or at least based on everyone's reaction when they announced it. Yeah, the cookie butter one's kind of underwhelming. It doesn't taste like an Oreo, which is weird, because it's the graham cracker cookie, so that throws off the flavor. The cookie butter, so it doesn't taste like the normal cream. It just tastes like a different cookie. And that cookie is just kind of meh. Huh. I did not expect that. Now we're going with another newer flavor, the limited edition hot cocoa Oreos. These are also only at Walmart. It's the chocolate cookie this time. White cream and chocolate cream. So marshmallow and cocoa. Once again, hot cocoa flavor artificially cream flavor. Yep, always made with real cocoa. Says it right there. Always. Always! Let's get these in our face. Oh, mama. You can barely tell. It's not two different creams. They're, it's, they're smushed on the label. Clearly a white cream and a chocolate cream. Here it's which is a technical term. Yeah, see? That's chocolate cream. That's white cream on the top. But yeah, that's uh, it's all together. No separation of flavor for us. Ha ha ha! Mmm. Oh, but that's good though. The marshmallow side definitely tastes very marshmallow creamy. The chocolate's very nice too. It's a rich cocoa flavor. There was a little bit of white cream on this one and chocolate cream on this one, and I got to get a little bit of a separation of the flavor there, and it's really nice. And now, to try them together. Like this one, looks mostly chocolate cream. Oh, look, there's a little bit that's just so slight of the white cream in there. Ah! Ah! I've had too many cookies, and the sugars made me go screaming. Side effect of this show, I just make noises now. <laughs> See? Yeah. This one's a favorite. Chocolate, cocoa, slight marshmallow. This was a good one. Oh, this bag's gonna be gone soon. Oh, yeah. Hot cocoa Oreos. Those are winners. Right there. Hot cocoa Oreo with a, with a mug of hot cocoa. You best believe, son. I don't know why I'm yelling at you or calling you son. I'm sorry. But yeah, that sounds like it would be awesome. I'm gonna do that later, but not on camera because I got more stuff to try. Finally, the limited edition mystery Oreos. Also, I only saw these at Walmart. I don't know if they're exclusive to there, but I only found them there. Guess the flavor for a chance to win $50,000. See back for details. Guess the correct flavor for a chance to win. One grand prize winner will receive $50,000 and five first prize winners will receive $10,000. It's not shabby. Two ways to enter, you text it to the thing, or you go to oreomystery.com and submit your guess. To enter without making a purchase or guessing the correct flavor, see official rules. I'm not reading them because meh. A couple people, a couple friends of mine, have been out there and trying these, and the majority of them say, tastes like fruity pebbles. All right, so a fruit flavor kind of thing. Artificially fruit flavored. Mystery flavor cream, artificially flavored. And it's the chocolate cookie, so it's a classic Oreo look. Oh my, these look fluffy as hell. That's a phrase that's just funny to me. That looks fluffy as hell. But I am getting a very strong citrus fragrance off of this. But yeah, look at that. It's it's not quite a double stuff, but man, that's, that's some fluffy stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely a fruity or, or citrusy scent. Well, the top just kind of popped off of that. Cream's a little solid. And I haven't had these that long. Try to have the, some of the cream here. Try to get a flavor here. Hmm. 
The cream's hard to scrape off here. It is very fruity. I'm getting more of a citrus, not like lemon, but like an orange. There we go. I understand you people who said fruity pebbles. It's a very similar flavor to fruity pebbles. So that's neat. Let's try it with the cookie intact. Yet another fluffy one. Oh yeah, fruity. It's a wonderful bouquet on this cookie. I'm losing my mind and you're watching it. It's fine, it's all fine. All right, mystery Oreos. Fruity pebbles, man. Tastes like fruity pebbles. Well, that was educational. Those were tasty. Out of the four, mystery, well, okay, out of, we're not even going to include the mystery because we don't know what it was. Strong, strong opinions say it's Fruity Pebbles, but I think I like the hot cocoa the best. I think actually peanut butter and jelly was second, so that was surprising, especially since I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Cookie butter was probably last because it was just kind of so bland. And mystery, if we had to put mystery, mystery would probably be between peanut butter and jelly and cookie butter. There's a ranking for you in case you cared. Well, that's all for this week. If you like the video or want to see me try something different, click a like button, let me know in the comments, or maybe, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to my channel. You can also check me out on Patreon, where I'm putting up new videos all the time, and music videos, making ofs, and also, you can check out any of the previous videos in this series in Season 1 and 2. Thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you next time. Bye! What I was singing there. Uh, going crazy from sugar.